Hi everybody! In this exercise you can learn to create PDO prepared statements in PHP. And in the very next video tutorial you can learn to create prepared statements using MySQLi. Prepared statements work for both the PDO and MySQLi extensions in PHP so you can just pick your flavor. Okay our objective is going to be to create a PDO prepared statement that's going to insert people into the people table just as a very basic example. First thing we'll do is add a database connection, which we discussed in the previous video. In the next line, we'll create a variable that represents the SQL syntax for the prepared statement. Now you can see it looks just like a normal insert, except in the values, we're putting named placeholders. So what you see here are called named placeholders. Then in the next line, we're going to create a variable named statement, STMT, short for statement. And that's going to be equal to our database handler, and using an object-oriented approach, we're going to run the prepare function. And then we'll just put our SQL syntax as the parameter. Now in the next three lines, what we're going to do is bind parameters to the prepared statement. So for the statement variable, we're running the bind param function. So the first argument is the placeholder, the named placeholder that you have in place. And the second argument is the variable data that's used when you execute the prepared statement. All right, on the next line down, we're going to set all the variable data, and then we're going to execute the prepared statement. So when the statement execute function is called to run, this variable data is going to be put in place in the prepared statement, and you'll have an insert into your people table. Now what makes this handy is that you can just reuse the prepared statement if you happen to be doing some operation over and over again, more than once. So we just change the variable data, and we just call the execute function to run again. That will give you a second insert with different data. Now in the next line down, we'll just echo a little message to ourselves saying prepared statements have been executed, and then we'll close the database connection. Okay, when I ran this on my server, I get this. Prepared statements have been executed, and then a visual representation of what just happened is this was what the people table looked like before I ran the prepared statement, and now this is what it looks like with Beth and Sandeep inserted into the table using prepared statement. Now the benefits are is that you can execute over and over again for the same sort of template. Basically what you're doing is making a template that you can use over and over again and it also helps with preventing SQL injection 